Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do every DIY and today we're going to be doing some maintenance on an exhaust fan and we are quite the ways up. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're going to be doing some maintenance on this exhaust fan. This is it right here. It's a sound blanket and it is right behind. Let's begin by going downstairs and turning off the VFD. Here's the VFD. We're at about 55%. Pulling 7.2 amps. This is the roof exhaust for the kitchen. And we're going to be shutting it down. And turn it off. All right, zero output. All right, we're back on the roof. We do have a disconnect here. I can hear that it's not running, but let's go ahead and shut that off. Okay. Let's take off this sound blanket and let's get to the motor. Now let's tuck that to the side. I got a couple screws. Let's go ahead and take off that front cover. All right, so I was here the other night, got an emergency call that this thing wasn't working. We got it back up and running. It was kind of a interesting issue, but anyways, we got that back up and running. But what I did notice was the fan belt was loose. Look how it sticks out, if you can see from the one on top. This one right here is insanely loose. So, not only that, but it was making noise. I found a ton of dirt here and here, and these are the grease ports. Nobody was greasing this motor and it was making a sound. Maybe from here you can see it better. How loose this belt is compared to this one. Definitely needs to be replaced. Alright. AX55. I got two brand new AX55 belts. I also have my grease gun, so we're gonna change these belts and grease the bearings. All right, I just took off the bottom cover, have a little bit more access. Got a couple screws over there, got some bolts. What I wanna do is loosen that up and try to adjust the motor itself so we don't stretch out the belt. So let's try to get that, loosen up these bolts and get these belts out. Access here. I'm trying to do this thing the right way. Really, I don't have good access. Now we're just gonna have to do it the old school way. All right. I need to take off these screws. Now we have proper access. So we loosened up these bolts here, so the, the plate is loose. Then from here, you work these nuts and you're gonna adjust it. What I did is I made a marking right here and here, just so we know that's where it should go back. But regardless, I'm gonna do the right tension. And like this, when we took this off, now we can get a wrench in here. I was wondering, Back there, that's a bearing. How do you grease that? Follow these tubes. I'm telling you, nobody takes this off. Just like I said, there was a bunch of gunk stuck on here. I know nobody's doing this. Nobody's taking off this color. Follow those tubes. Right here. This is called a Zerk fitting. So right there, these two ports is how you grease the bearings in the back. Nobody's been doing that. Hopefully these things aren't clogged because if those bearings go back there, man, to change this thing, good luck, <laughs> good luck. You know, we just took off the whole thing because if you follow here, this is attached to here. So what we gotta do is actually loosen up this one and this one. This one and this one. Then we can adjust this. Then this will be fully free and we can 
adjust this back and forth and like that we can adjust the tension off these belts you want to loosen this up so we take this off easy get the new belt on easy and then adjust the proper tension we got the nut back here loosen that up we got the nut back here as well and loosen that up as well and now we should be able to work these bolts and adjust this motor all right i made a marking right here the green of where it used to be so you can see we got this pushed back closer to the pulley this is moving so these belts should be a lot looser yep both loose that can come right off just catch that out all right that's one and then all right both belts are out all right here's the new belt let's get it inside it's spinning heavy back there so slow that down right there so you guys can see I caught it on the top so let's get it onto the first one All right. and then the fingers doing this and then we're gonna get it up on the next level okay it's the first belt that on perfect our belts are on now you can see where I had the marking and the green on here as well now what we can do is bring this back bring it back to the green and pull this motor back then get the proper tension Okay, that's a much better tension. Tighten up these in the back. Hold back, I guess, you know, against together. Tighten it up. Then we can tighten all these bolts up again. gun I just checked it to make sure we got grease everything over here is tight everything's lined back up let's make sure we get this on there right let's pump a little bit of grease into this this one make sure it gets in there sometimes you hear a click and I'm pretty much gonna grease these four ports I'm mainly concerned with the ones in the back hopefully none of that is clogged as well there's the system on hand I see it's at 33 hertz, so it should go back out to that 55%. Got no current. Let's turn on the disconnect on the roof as well. Definitely looking a lot better. Okay, so we're just gonna close up the covers from here, put the sound blanket back on, and wrap it up. That's how we properly change the belts. Got a good tension, greased the bearings for the motor and for the bearings in the back, and then tested everything, and everything's great. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.